And while these problems may be tough on a lot of us, we need to recognize that many people have it harder. For students of color, they face harsher forms of violence than we do. Not only are they excluded from our university system through fee hikes, not only are programs and departments such as ethnic studies and centers for recruitment and intervention defunded, but, but they are more often criminalized in our society. Our good friend, Rob Slaughter, a black student from St. Mary's, came over here on the 9th to show his support. And what happened to him? He was one of the many that got beaten, and he was one of the 39 people that got arrested. But while the 38 people in jail were cited and released, Rob was the only one remaining in jail. Not only that, but he was given a $15,000 bail, and he was the only one charged with a felony. Rob is here today, but he cannot be on public, he cannot be on our campus property, because if he is, he'll be facing more, more punishment. And this is the illusion that the administration wants to believe in when they say public property. <laughs> what happened to me? What happened to my students? What happened to the community members here? Was utterly disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. What kind of democracy do we live in where people must fear police repression for protesting against fee hikes? There is no democracy. What kind of democracy do we live in when peaceful protesters are responded to with police violence? What kind of democracy do we live in when education is treated as a commodity to be sold rather than a right? And what kind of democracy do we live in where people must be pushed into debt for something that should be free? These questions are why we must get involved. It is because these issues are real. And it's because of these issues that I, and hopefully all of you, will not and cannot stand around and do nothing. Because the first step in creating real change is the courage and the strength to say no to authority. And we must have the imagination to envision a new and different way to run our university and our society as a whole. And that is why we need to join this movement. Because this movement provides a physical place for us to come together and work on making these visions a reality. We need to join this movement because it is a place where we are the ones taking, of care, taking care of each other. And we need to join this movement because it provides a place where we can create the society in which we wish to live. Yeah. And while the administration relies on police violence, we have the real power. We have the power of the people. Power to the people! Power to the people! Power to the people! Power to the people. I mentioned my friend Rob earlier. He's outside right now, and he's waiting on Bancroft and Telegraph. Woo! And Rob is a perfect example of how racism works today. So let's all head over there to Bancroft and Telegraph right now and listen to what Rob has to say. Woo!